karibuni wote. Now um, thank you all for coming at such short notice uh, to this presser I called on behalf of my client Lilian Nganga. Now how we will proceed is that um, Lilian is going to read her press statement. Um, if necessary, you will ask her a few questions. Um, so that's really how it will go. So I'll start by introducing the subject. My client, as you all know, has uh, until very recently was the uh, first lady of uh, Machakos County, which I would like to distinguish between being the wife of uh, the governor, simply the first lady playing the role as a first lady, she might explain herself. So as you all are aware, that relationship has ended and uh, it ought to have ended in a manner that would not provide any more media coverage that is negative. Uh, unfortunately, the relationship has continued in a manner that attracts not only uh, your attention, should attract your attention, but raises all our concerns as persons who are concerned about the civil liberties of any person who walks out of a relationship. So Lillian has had a very trying time since she walked out of that relationship. She is distressed. She has done whatever she has d uh, wanted, uh, tried to do to stop it. She has been to court. That has not stopped Dr. Alfred Mutua. She has gone to the police. That has not stopped uh, Governor Mutua. She is now speaking out because she cannot hold back anymore. So with that, I invite um, Lillian Nanga to address you. So you'll permit her to read her statement, and then you'll ask questions. Give us two seconds so that you all your equipment is moved. And, when, and don't struggle too hard to write everything down. You'll be given this, the, the press statement so that that can form the basis of your write-ups. Okay. Everybody has their mic in the right place? Lillian, you can remove your Good morning, everybody. Um, I have a short statement to read. Um, I ended my relationship with Alfred Mutua in Nani June this year. On repeated occasions, I have, um, I've seen Alfred say that we are still friends and our separation has been amicable. These are Mr. Mutua's usual theatrics and lies, as Alfred and I has not spoken, have not spoken since August um, 2021. On September 8, 2021, Mr. Mutua, accompanied by um, his police bodyguard, Martin Zinge, um, arrived at my apartment and took away a car that was fully uh, registered in my name with a spare key that he had illegally obtained. Mr. Mutua um, fraudulently transferred the ownership of the car in the lock into his name, and thereafter sold the vehicle to a third party. I filed a case uh, which is pending in court, so I'll, no I'll not comment further on this. I wish to um, rather state that the purchaser should be on notice that I maintain ownership to the vehicle. I call for a criminal investigation into this serious criminal offense by Alfred Mutua. Along the same fraudulent conduct, uh, Mr. Mutua recently and illegally transferred my shares in the Dash Enterprises, the hotel company, to his sister Anne Bandi Mutua. Again, a clear act of fraud. At no point did I execute a transfer of my shares or otherwise transfer my um, 1,800 shares, that is 45% shareholding the company to him, let alone his sister. My advocates have managed to trace the transaction documents from the company registry. Uh, here are the documents. They are on the back. They are on the back this of the presser. 
uh, both documents have been lodged at the company registries together, effectively defrauding me of 90% of my shareholding in Dash Enterprises. A company I founded in 2014, uh, indeed after my own high school nickname. I was called Raft in Dash in school, so you can ask everybody I went to school with. There's two documents which bear a stamp dated 12th and 13th August uh, 2021, bear what resembles my signature, but not in original form. And clearly the signatures have been electronically superimposed. The transactions by Mr. Mutua are clear and obvious frauds, which he has committed in false and mistaken belief that he's above the law and will not be held to account for his criminal acts against me. I reported this serious crime to Kilimani Police Station under OB number 48-15-09-2021. Mr. Mutua is reacting to our separation. Was indicated that I wanted to move on with my life, he thought otherwise. At a meeting at Windsor uh, Golf and Country Club on September 22nd, in the company of our two mutual friends, and of the two criminal incidents, I requested Alfred Mutua for mature and amicable separation and reminded him that uh, after all, we were not married. Mr. Mutua angrily termed me as his enemy number one and threatened to crush me to ash as it takes away everything I have and everything I own. Indeed, this has already started as he has demanded through his lawyers that I refund any money he has ever given to me or made available for my use. He also threatened to harm people close to me um, and he demanded I apologize and restruct, restruct the two statements I've made on social media regarding our breakup, which I obviously declined. He stated that he had offers uh, from people to kill persons close to me and threatened that he will actually take up the offer to, to teach some people a lesson. He arrogantly said that he, he is a very important person in this country, very powerful, and he will and can, can get away with anything and everything he has planned to do to me and those close to me. He added that his social media machinery is ready and waiting to finish me I put that in bold, finish me and my friends completely. On October 7, 2021, I filed a case in the High Court of Miliman in Nairobi for a restraining order because I believe my life and those around me are in danger. Are in danger. Mr. Mutua is fighting the restraining order by rubbishing my claims and wants the case transferred to Machakos where he believes I'll be too scared to step and uh, is capable of and I believe he wants to hire goons to bully and harass me when I attend court. Mr. Mtua has also um, further falsely accused me of, of abusing drugs and that I am being used by uh, His Excellency Governor Kibwana and His Excellency Kalozo Musioka to bring him down politically, which is complete nonsense as I have never interacted with the two gentlemen at a personal level. I am publicly requesting Mr. Mutua to immediately return my property, cease threatening my life and of those around me, and stop his arrogance, abuse of power, manipulation, and bullying. He needs to get a life and he needs to move on. I therefore appeal to the Inspector General of Police and the Director of Public Prosecution to expedite the investigation and charge Alfred Mutua for the serious crimes he has so far committed because I and my friends um, are scared and before anything else happens to us. Lastly, what I have described amounts to um, a form of GBV, that's gender-based violence, known as psychological and economic gender-based violence. Mr. Mutua is out to destroy me, both psychologically and economically, and must be, by, um, and must be stopped by the government. Any and every form of GBV must be shunned and the perpetrators punished heavily. I now understand firsthand how and why many women continue to suffer in silence, and especially if their partners or former partners are in positions of power and influence. I urge all women to speak up against any form of violence by partners who feel entitled and partners who simply cannot take, um, and partners who simply cannot take no for an answer. Thank you. So that is the statement of um, the former First Lady Lillian. I invite you to ask a few questions in the few minutes that we have left. And of course, 
be sensitive to the fact that it is a relationship between two individuals that we are talking about here. But I don't know what he wants, but I'm certain he wants to destroy me and, you know, as he said, crush me to ash. That one I'm certain. And that's why my, I feel my life is in danger.